Hello everyone, it's me, Michael, and the LEGO Ninjago Summer Sets for 2022 have been revealed. Let's take a look. This is the Dragon Temple. It has 161 pieces. And it, oh, it's $40. Ah, I know 4 plus is expensive, but this is over um, what I would expect for a four plus set, way over. Like, taking a look at this image, like, none of the minifigures are exclusive. Builds are kind of mediocre, mediocre, like always. They're a little bit better than what I've seen before for four plus. It doesn't look completely incompetent. But whatever, that, that dragon though, the legs, they should just stop using the raptor feet because those things are way too small. $40, garbage, skip this one. Don't even bother buying it when it comes out. Um, Jay's Golden Dragon Motorbike, from what I can tell. 137 pieces for $20. See, that's fair. For it to be 15, but I see some new pieces. Looks like there's a new Nunchuck of Lightning piece. Uh, one of these crystal guys. That's nice, some sort of weird robot, but... Things look fairly balanced in this set. Looks like a good small set. And it's not completely overpriced. Cole's Dragon Cruiser. Um, alright. 384 pizza for $45. Oh, so, no, no. That's not terrible, but I'd prefer to see this at, like... 30 to 35 it just looks like it would fit in that range uh also yeah these new ninjas with the golden uh dragon armor fantastic stuff i see one random grunt and general sphere they they looks like they're bringing back the villains again um the blades flip floored overall just like i don't know like 10 to 20 dollars overpriced just just um just doesn't really do it and it's just a cold car um zane's golden dragon jet let's see ooh the return of the skull sorcerer looks like there's coal with his golden dragon armor i also see that some of these ninja have like a golden form of their ninja suit where it just has like their suit but gold accents and some they're just plain um so yeah let's see how much this one costs uh 30 dollars nice 250 pieces not bad maybe it could be a little bit cheaper but pretty good it also has a wing folding feature um temple of the crystal king the crystal king temple i, I see it all right so you see these these are the suits I was talking about. They're like the normal suits. And then sometimes there's like a gold version. I'm just like, wait, wait, how many suits will there be in this new season? Um, it looks pretty good. Um, that tan segrity sculpture technique doesn't work too well here. There is new pieces for all of the golden weapons, which is nice to see them finally getting specially molded instead of just them being brick built assemblies 703 pieces and it's 80 dollars that's not bad uh the crystal king that's what this one's called i the crystal king kind of looks like the overlord doesn't he have heard that the overlord will be attorney and i wonder if he's in this in these sets but oh look harumi uh she's back um, let's see if they'll have it make sense or if it'll just be for fan service. But, um, yeah. It has four legs, which is really cool. That nice windshield piece recolored. Um, sometimes in Lego sets, I see, like, there's too much opposition or whatever. It doesn't feel fairly balanced because they've just completely overpowered the character as the protagonist in the set and it'll be like three good guys in a vehicle versus like a couple of grunts 
maybe some sort of special general or something. But this feels actually kind of balanced because he's going up against a few minifigures. They're tough. And he's going up against this thing. And I assume with his golden power, he might be able to deal some damage while not feeling like he's completely overpowered in the situation. But yeah, good to see a balance of good and evil in the set. 723 pieces for $60. Better. Far better. Um, Alright. This has... It's uh, Kai's Golden Dragon Raider. 624 pieces for $85. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh man, I see seven minifigures in the set, which probably bumps up the price a bit. But oh man, that... Well, it's a nice looking car. It very creative. It just doesn't do it for me. Uh, let's see. It can fold up, and the wheels can move outward. Plates can move forward. It's kind of transformative, and it looks really unique. But eighty five dollars. I see. No, that's not Mister E. Um, I've heard that that's Mister F. Then there's Skyler Kai and his like golden suit and then there's zane and his golden dragon armor each one of these sets looks like it has an exclusive minifigure at least one then there's lloyd's golden ultra dragon they have a few grunts the crystal king who doesn't even have any crystal on him zane cole j kai and golden oni lloyd let's let's take a look at him oh dang he's he's cool um, not really a big fan of the four heads thing. It's just never been my thing. I heard some other YouTubers say it's not their thing either. Just not my thing. <laughs> Looks like it'll be a bit clunky and the heads would be smacking each other about as it struggles to get off the ground. Um, nice wing flight feature. And yeah, pretty cool. 988 pieces. Ah, it's $140. No, 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 no. That... That is abysmal pricing right there. It feels like Ninjago is just going from best value on the market to worst value on the market. It's only taken them a year. Anyway, Nia Samurai x -Mac. The only set with Nia. Oh, look. They completely undid it. She's completely back to normal. Thought they'd at least wait a season before bringing Nia back. But, ooh, there's a mechanic. Some random grunt. Pythor, he has returned. Ah, oh, he's a general now. I see Oni Garmadon. He's cool. Little Nelson, new and exclusive. J, Armored Wu, and of course, Nia. Looks like a nice version of Samurai X, but... Ah, shoots from the elbows or something? Maybe from the shoulders. Yeah, that looks to be it. Pretty good. Let's hear from... Yeah. See her from the shoulders or from the elbows. Um, looks pretty good. Let's see how much it costs. I believe it's $120. Yeah, $120. Oh, 1,003 pieces. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'd give it like 100 at most. And even then, I'd want to see it 90 Um... Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much it. Be sure to tell me what you think. I love this wave. I just think it's the most overpriced wave of Ninjago ever. But we'll have to see. Maybe some of these are bigger than they look. After all, those dragon wings seem to provide a bit of bulk in the sets. So, yeah, tell me what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.